the air, there are thousands of particles per cubic centimeter. Hey, Dragstar, I think we have a little échantillon for the dame. Mais bien sûr. La générosité est notre arme de combat. Particles can grow to form clouds. They reflect incoming solar radiation, thereby cooling the planet. However, there's still a lot of uncertainties. But most particles are formed in what we call new particle formation events. Vapors in the air can condense to form new particles, but how do you get energetic gases to condense? You need low volatile vapors of acids and bases, and they get help from organic such as the smell of the forest. The smells are actually organic vapors emitted by trees and the forest floor. Now once these organic vapors react with oxygen in the air, such as ozone, they are able to participate in the nucleation and growth of particles. We get thousands of possible oxidized organic compounds with different properties. And while particle formation is seen all around the world, we have different environments, such as urban, marine, rural. And with that comes different temperatures, pressures, emissions, and pollution levels. So identifying the ambient conditions that work in one place might not necessarily work in another which makes understanding global particle formation tricky, but necessary in quantifying global particle loading. Zamala, 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 Zampalo. Zamala.